This was a guy who looked to be on his way out yeah, yeah. in the summer. I mean, very explicitly, very obviously. And even now, if you were to rank players individually in terms of their importance to the team, Bernardo Silva may have moved up a bunch of positions. But for me, at least, I would still have him behind De Bruyne. I would have him behind Foden. I'd have him behind Ruben Diaz. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to Zach Steffen. I'd probably have him behind Ederson. Uh, you could make an argument that he's behind Rodri. Yeah, yeah. This is what's so remarkable about this City team. It's the number of it's the number of weapons without necessarily having anybody. I know I'm making a big statement now. Other than maybe Ruben Diaz, maybe De Bruyne, who is legit in the top five or ten in the world in their position. I mean, maybe you might have put Ederson in there, but mm. did you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, but this is the collective strength. That it, it really is the yeah, collective, which is it's incredible. Which is weird, and I mean, we've talked about this before, Nathan. But Liverpool, again, I mean, we're talking about we see individual, tremendous individual skill from Salah, whatever. But clearly, Liverpool were about the collective as well. When Liverpool won yeah, their yeah, title yeah. by a million points, you know, you were saying, "Ooh, who do we? Who, who's their player of the season?" Well, uh, Jordan Henderson, like you know what I mean? Like yeah, because yeah. you know, you've got Van Dijk, you've got Salah. It's it's hard, and I'm wondering. If it's almost counterintuitive that in this era of the superstar, right, we, 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 we keep talking about this name, our Messi, Cristiano, Holland, Mbappe, actually the teams that do better are the ones where you can't really pluck one individual out of them. You could throw Bayern into that mix too. Yeah, because I guess so. Of course, Lewandowski's great, but like... You know, and, and he can't yeah. be replaced because they're not. You, do you know what I mean? And, and I think yeah. that's it's remarkable what they've built versus, say, I don't want to pick on Manchester United, but other teams that have spent mm. money or, or or Real Madrid even, right? Or PSG, where they yeah, are, yeah. Paris Saint Germain, you know, different approaches. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think um, obviously you need money to be able to bring in players of that sort of caliber, but you also need that as a strategy as well. I think it was. Um, was not this week where Bonucci was saying that at Juve they just had an over reliance on Cristiano. So they stopped essentially doing things the way they did, did in the past. And I think that's the danger when you have one megastar within your team. Whereas, say, for the collective, you win together. Everybody plays well together. You know, some, someone might have a bad day in terms of one aspect, but it's not going to be over the other. If they're not attacking well, they'll be defending well because they know that's how they're going to be successful. And then from there, when you're playing against it, when any single person on the field could be the key person, then you can't say go and double team this guy because you're leaving somebody else open. And it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's great. I, I like it. I like what Liverpool do and I like what City have done and all that stuff. And it's great because as well, players we didn't even mention. Say for as good as Bernardo Silva's doing now, how much of that has to do with the fact that Gundogan is injured and he's not playing? And also at the City now, Kevin De Bruyne, you say he's probably one of the top five in the world and whatever. He's not even playing that well. No. But they're still winning games yeah. and they're looking good, you know, because that's the collective. Whereas other teams, I think, would probably try and rely 100% on him to form some sort of magic. But that's not the way that City and other really good teams at this moment work. And I think that that is what makes them great. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.